just got up. You could probably tell by looking at me, just sitting here having my coffee with all of you. It's a beautiful morning. It's kind of cloudy, but it rained last night off and on, so that's awesome. I watered my plants a little bit yesterday, but I didn't water them very well, so yay, they got some more free water. And this is the first video that I'm filming on my new camera. And you know what? It's it's like a, I think it's a better quality camera. And it shows more my flaws. So I'm kind of thinking maybe, does it have like filters where I can make it look more not so realistic? <laughs> Anyhow, yeah, long day shopping yesterday. Didn't like it one bit, but I got some things I needed. I got the phone. Um, I got a weed whacker, so I need to take that off my Amazon wish list. I got, um, I got some new bedding. I got some new stuff to make, like, kind of curtains. I don't want fancy curtains. I basically just want a piece of fabric over that I can pull to the side. And I don't like the felt and the blackout curtains that are there right now. Um, and I got some other things I can't even think of right now because I'm kind of tired. I haven't had my full pot of coffee yet. <laughs> So, um, later today, I'm going to put together that weed whacker and see if I can get it to work. I need to charge it first. Oh, that's right. I need to go get the charger out of the box and start charging it. And then do a few things on the inside of the cabin. And, uh, well, who knows? I may have a little look around my property. Well, I always have a look around my property. Basically, after I get done with this little bit, I'm going to drink my coffee and I'm going to walk around, look at my plants and see how things are doing. So... Um, I may take you along with me a little bit later on, but right now it's coffee time, and it is putting together the weed whacker time. Wish me luck. <laughs> yeah, buddy! Well, I don't have a tripod, so I can't film me doing this. Um, I And I've just got a new phone. I'm not going to risk it getting damaged or anything like that. So I'm going to go mow down some weeds and see how long this thing works on one battery charge. Well, for not it not being a heavy-duty weed whacker, I didn't take it all the way down to the ground, but these were some pretty tall weeds. And, uh, I mean, I was only doing it for about three and a half minutes. Um, it takes them down. It even takes down some of the bigger sticks. But the problem is, is I'm already out of the little wire. So luckily I bought another package of it, so I'll put it in. So really, it's really not designed to do this bigger stuff. But the little stuff, yeah, it takes it down pretty good. So I think this is going to work out for me. Really, this whole area needs to be mowed. But what I think I'm going to do is just get the high stuff off and not really take it down too low because there are still some wild edibles out there that I don't want to kill. So just tidy it up a little bit and take that tall stuff down up there and it's also going to be really great for in this area like in between the beds and around the beds and whatnot. Um, so I don't know maybe I should just get a lawn mower. I don't know I don't know. Well I'm just going to put that wire in it if I can figure out how to do it and come and just tidy up this area a little bit and then move on to something else. Okay, well, something is wrong with this little weed eater and I think it's because I tried to cut down those big weeds. Took it over to Mr. Lucas and we couldn't figure it out, so I guess it's time for me to read the manual. <laughs> all right, I get to pay back Mr. Lucas a little bit for all the kindness that he's given to me. You know all those extra tarps I've got? I've got like four more tarps. I used two of them to cover up my plants because I was paranoid the other night. And Mr. Lucas needs two tarps, so I'm going to take them over to him, which totally makes me feel awesome. So I'm on my way over there now. And um, one thing, I want you all to say some prayers for Mr. Lucas because he lost his beloved dog, Diesel, a few days ago. And it was very heartbreaking for him. He didn't get to even go into the vet and be there with him when the vet had him. Um, because he was very sick and he had, was ate up with cancer, basically. Um, and so, you know, because of the virus, he couldn't uh, he couldn't go in and be with Diesel in his final moments. So he's a... Oh, get away from me. Sorry, bug. Um, he's kind of broke up about it, so please say some prayers for healing and that happiness and joy comes back to him somehow or the other. Um, if anybody out there has a couple hens, full-grown hens you want to get rid of, um, his rooster is a Rhode Island Red, a beautiful rooster. 
So if you have any roosters or hens uh, that you'd like to get off your hands and could get them down to West Tennessee, well, then you just let me know. All right, so I'm going to go see Mr. Lucas. Well, so what happens, I wasn't out of wire, actually. There's plenty left in there, but what's happening is... It's getting wrapped up around the bottom of this and then it's snapping. So I don't know how to make that stop happening. So I guess I'm going to read the instructions. Um, Mr. Lucas tried to figure it out with me and it just kept doing the same thing. And it looked like we had it on the right way. So let's see if I can get this off. Ah, I can't do it with one hand. Well, let me just read the instructions and see what the heck is up with this thing. I did get it fixed. Um, it seems like the line, the wire was just pulled out too long. You don't need a whole lot. But this is the model that I got. It was $58 at Walmart and it is not a heavy duty cutter. It just isn't. Um, it's good for light duty jobs and it's something I can lift so that's kind of cool. Um, I'll show you kind of a little bit what, of what I got done. I got all that high grass down that was up along here. Most of it anyhow. I didn't take it down real low. Um, just because, well, I was getting tired, to be honest with you. But I got a lot of that tall grass down, so I'll be able to get the rake and kind of rake it up and use it in the compost bin. And then, I'm not going to walk all the way down there, but all the way down by my mailbox, I got quite a bit done over there, too. And then, over by the street, I got quite a bit done, too. But, the... The heavier stuff like that you see near that pole right there, this weed whacker is just really not powerful. Oops, little lizard. Not powerful enough to take it, take it down. Like that tall brush over there, um, every time I tried to cut into it, it, um, you know, the, the little wire snaps. And this is supposed to be one of those that you don't have to bump to get it to advance, but it'll, it's not auto advancing. So... Um, I don't recommend getting one of those that I got, but it's going to be okay for me for light duty type stuff, at least to keep the area around the garden beds done, you know, and kind of clean. So, and I don't know, maybe I just don't know how to use it and I just need more practice, but I didn't want to take it down too low because there's a lot of wild edibles out here that I really don't want to get rid of. So, um... You know, whatever. It, it's uh, something I can use in case I just need to tidy up a little area. So that's kind of a bonus. Look at this, you guys. It's been, what, two days since I filmed this the last time? Look at all those beans. And I've got beans coming up in almost every single spot. Look at how the... And there's getting big fast. And... Plenty of carrots. I can't see if I can, if you can see this because of the uh, sunlight. But tons of carrots are coming up down the middle. And look at all of those cucumbers. I think every spot that I planted, there is cucumbers, multiple cucumbers coming up. So that makes me so happy. Remember this spot, you guys. I really think this is dill. Let's see right here. See that? Kind of fringy. It doesn't look like the other stuff that's growing. We've got some more that's right here. That really, really just looks like dill to me. We've got another little one coming up over here. And see? See these? No. Oh. See those weeds right there? That's the weeds that I think was coming up in those other buckets. And it's just like the grass and weeds that grow all over here. But I really, really believe that this is dill. I really do. So hopefully it is. I'm going to let it keep growing. I may throw a few more seeds down there. So yay! One thing I feel really blessed about is I have a lot of this. And you may think it's a dandelion, but it's not. It's cat's ear. It actually tastes uh, less bitter than dandelion. And I've got it all over the place. I have been eating these grains almost every day and they're delicious in soups on sandwiches. I have put them on um, tacos instead of lettuce and you get the, the nice tender ones and see underneath there, I don't know if you can see that or not, but there's little hairs on the leaves and that's how you can tell it's a cat's ear, but they're delicious. I've been eating them almost every day. Mm. They are just, just like lettuce. So I have plenty of wild lettuce growing all over the place. 
So that makes me pretty happy. Yes, it does. Well, I'm just taking a little break here for a little bit, and yep, I had to put pull the hair back on a pony and put on a hat. Couldn't stand that. All that hair in my face and whatnot makes me crazy. But one thing I wanted to point out too, and maybe if I just let this charge overnight, because I didn't fully charge it up, um, and even on kind of like a half charge, I work for about, oh, I don't know, say 30 minutes uh, to 45 minutes, and it still had a little juice in it. So I'm going to charge it up really good overnight, try it again tomorrow, and uh, see if maybe I can get down some of that thicker stuff. But like I said, it's only $58, and it's a 12-inch, and... Um, you know, you get what you pay for, honestly. So, I'm just going to chill out for a little while and figure out if there's anything else I want to do today. <laughs> so, what I'm going to do is just finish up a few things inside um, and then maybe do a couple more things outside. Uh, really, there's not much I'm going to be doing today. So, I'm just going to go ahead and cut this video and say that's all I got for you. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.